<laughs> oh my god. Is he scared? I don't know. I don't know really. It looks as... <laughs> okay. Scratch that. Clearly he's scared. He's good, but he's up to something. I don't trust him that much. <laughs> she looks so familiar. Yeah, yeah. Are you there, huh? Yeah, yeah. It's me, your baby, Sonia. Um, I was thinking about you throughout today, and you know, the way you gave to me yesterday was hard, and I was actually thinking maybe we could have a recap. You know, I want more of you. So that you could give it to me again. Well, 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 well. Um, speaking of which, I, I think the conference has already been. Uh, sorry. Let's get yeah, it. yeah. The conference has already been detailed for next week. However, we must understand that. Hello? Hello? <sighs> you are my priority for now, Mr. Jerry Ukogwe. Uh -huh. to take me to Bellerina hotels to spoil me and the sweetest part is that he said I can come with my girlfriends because his friends just came from Spain and they need girls tonight for a party for a pool party girl I just called Amarachi and Bella and they said they are game so girl get up go dress up it's gonna be fun <laughs> I'm not interested what? Come on, girl. Don't be a party pooper. It's gonna be fun. Trust me. I'm sorry. I'm not interested. I just want to be indoor for now. Please. Now you're getting me worried. Because I don't know you to be that type that can turn down such a juicy offer. What's going on? Judith. 
I've not been feeling well lately. Plus, Mr. Jerry is not picking up my calls. It's, it's quite worrisome. No, Sonia. You are a drama queen. Yes, you are. Like, are you serious? You're turning down my offer because Jerry refused to pick your calls? Are you for real? <laughs> Excuse me. Judith, did you not hear when I said I'm not feeling well? Hey, Judith. Wait, like seriously? You and I know I will not turn you down if the table were turned around. Judy, it's not like that. I'm not just feeling too well. Please. No, it's, it's fine. It's okay. I am going to look for an opportunity for revenge. And trust me, that revenge is going to be so hard on you. Trust me, you see. We used to be deeply in love with each other. And all of a sudden, you changed. You don't pick my calls anymore. And you don't even want to see me. I have been here for the past how many minutes. And you wouldn't talk to me. What have I done to you? Sweet. I've told you I'm no longer interested in doing runs. Can you please leave my house? What? Are you asking me to leave your house? Yes. Except you want me to show you the way which you will not like it. It's okay. No problem, I will leave. I know you will call my line when you get broke. But I promise to give you the shock of your life. You're not getting a dime from me anymore. And today? Hey, 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 this is the height of it. Come on. It's out of place. Because I know how much you love this meat. And don't tell me you're breaking up with him because of that, Mr. Jerry. Someone you barely know. Someone who has refused to pick your calls. You are pregnant? Yes. You know I've not been feeling too well. I went to the hospital and now this is a test result. You're pregnant for who? So, Mr. Jerry is responsible for the pregnancy. Is that what you're saying? Yes. <laughs> Sorry to ask. We are Ron's girls. So, how are you so sure Mr. Jerry is responsible? Don't insult me, Judith. I'm not a child. I have told you the rubber busted while we were making love. Don't get me wrong. You told me that you sleep with your boyfriend, Smith, without protections. So. Just for you to understand me, you did. Okay. Since I met with Jerry, I have not allowed any man to come close to me, not even Smith, which you know yet. <laughs> oh, I see. So what are we going to do about it? How do you mean? Because he has made it clear to you that he doesn't want to have anything to do with you anymore. And that is why he has refused to pick your calls ever since then. And like you said, he is a married man. Yes. So I'm thinking 
you should terminate the pregnancy. Mom, for the opting time, please let my wife be. Let us be. My wife will get pregnant as I when do. She will conceive as I when do. Yes. Okay, yes. I mean, after all, the doctors have certified us fit. Yes. You better stop deceiving yourself. If those doctors told you the truth, how come you're still childless after six years? How come? You better make hay while the sun still shines on you and stop wasting your youthfulness on that barren woman. Do you respect that? I'll tell you to stop it again, please. That's my wife we're talking about here. I'll not take you talking about her with such malicious content, please. I won't take it. You won't take it? No, I won't. You won't take it? I won't. Now, give me me. I'm telling you the truth or telling me you won't take it. Now, tell me, if I can hurt you for your father, who will inherit his chance of business enterprise? Who? I'm asking you. I'm a man, You don't need to bargain like that. I'm sorry, sir. I, I, I tried to stop her. I better I'll handle this. Thank you, sir. What do you want? Why have you been avoiding my calls? Like I said, what do you want? I don't understand. I will make you understand. That is the result of what we did behind closed toilets. You came inside me and now I am pregnant. Yes. A stupid gold digging tent where she didn't sew. Have you slowed down to think about this? She is not lying. I am a woman. I will tell when a woman is lying or telling the truth. Well, I, I, I don't care. But one thing I know for sure is that I'm not marrying that girl. I have a wife. I'm not marrying anybody else apart from my wife. You will. I will not. You will. I will not do it. You will. There's no way I will do anything like that. What is going on here? I could hear your voices all the way outside. Mom? Something wrong, baby? No, no, no. Mom? My, son, my, my son has just proven to be a real man. Of course he's a man. Yeah. A very fragile woman. It's pregnant for him. Just, mom? Look, look, I mean, of course you know mom when she's in that mood, honey. honey what listen, what is she honey, said? Honey, 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 listen, can we just talk? Jerry, what was it I honey, heard her say? This is your husband. Can we just talk? Oh, please, just... You did this. Jerry, after all this time, you this is what you do no, to no, me? No, 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 honey, honey, please. I, look, look. <laughs> Look, the truth of the matter is, I, look, I, 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 I don't know. J just forgive me, baby. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I should forgive you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please, please. You want me to forgive you, Jerry? Honey, please. Jerry, if, if you were desperate, so much so that you wanted a child outside wedlock. The right thing to do was to discuss it with me. No, no. Instead of just going out there and randomly getting any girl no, pregnant. No, 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 it wasn't like that. No, no, no. It's, it's, I, mean, I, mean, I, 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 I know we might, 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 might sound cliche, but, but the truth of the matter is, I, 
I was drunk and, and I wasn't in control of the true me. I wasn't in control of my senses, you know, like I, I wasn't in control of things and, 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 and it happened, you, you know? I, I, look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh my God, you, you, you are unbelievable! You, you, you were drunk? You, you were drunk? <laughs> Yeah, I'm guessing that, that that's the point where I gave you some empathy for, for being drunk. You blame you up! Shut come in on being drunk! Oh, okay, okay, let's talk about being drunk, huh? Were you not drunk when you carefully drove home? You have to give me something to Jerry say, say, say what I, say what makes sense because you were not so drunk when you fell into her thighs. You fell into her thighs, Jerry. And you say you're sorry. Please. I don't believe this is you, Jerry. You just get out. Get, get out right now. I want you to go. I'm not kidding. Get out. Get out. Jerry, get out now. I want you out! Go! Go! Honey, I'm sorry. Please. Please. This is not me. I mean, you know, you know, this is not me. This is not me. My character. This is not me. You know, I couldn't have done. I mean, I, 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 I love I you. I didn't want you to go. Honey. Go, Jerry, please. Go. 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 Get out! Get out! Just go! Sometimes I pray. Sometimes I weep. It's just one prayer, but give me my God. Sabi God, I dedicate my life to you. There's nothing impossible for you, God. So God, bless me, God, Lord. no, 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 bless me, Lord. Bless me, Lord. Show me, Lord. Bless me, Lord. Bless me, Lord. With your child. Bless me, Lord. Bless me, Lord. <laughs> Show me your yeah. side my tears With the gift of a child oh. just dropped me off like he took me out in. we went to the cinema after which we went to his hotel room we had good times together and which he paid me handsomely babe 100,000 naira babe did you hear a word of what I just said babe you're crying what is it why are you crying Talk to me now. Why are you crying? Maybe you're crying. What is it? I went to see Mr. Jerry in his office. He denied me in front of his mother. He said he does not know me or have anything to do with me. I'm so sorry, baby. But is that why you're crying? Like, seriously? Is this not enough for me to cry? That the man I am pregnant for deny knowing me or have anything to do with me? Is that not enough? Hold on, Sonia. What do you expect the poor guy to do? 
no, from what you told me, you guys only met once. You had good times together, which you parted ways. So what do you expect him to do? What he's doing now is normal. Like every other responsible guy out there would want to save his marriage, just like Mr. Jerry. And that is why you need to take my advice to terminate the pregnancy before it's too late for you. Yes. You are so wrong, Judith. Having pregnant for someone like Jerry is the best thing that can happen to any woman in my position. Oh, wow. Yes. I think I need to go and see my mother. I need to talk to someone who can understand me. Because at the look of things, you do not understand me. <laughs> my whole life is a mess right now. I shouldn't have listened to you the day you said we should go to that club. Now look at what I'm going through. Come on, man. Stop making it sound that bad. He's not. Stop sounding like a broken record. She's only carrying your child. Yes, you should be celebrating and not apportioning blame. Excuse me? Excuse me? Listen, I am married, okay? Married. Married man who couldn't hold his sexual urge. Now, coming from you, that's an insult. I'm not insulting you. No, don't see that way, I'm not. But the truth is that you are on your way to fatherhood. I mean, you should be thanking me for that night. I suggest you consummate it by bringing her into your home as your second wife. <laughs> you know, I came here thinking I had a friend to talk to. But right now, all I see I'm with is somebody who sounds like my mother. See you around. Jerry? Come on, Jerry, we are not done. Jerry? Good morning, Mom. Keep your greetings. Give me Sonia's phone number. Sonia's phone number? For what? No blood of the Wukwes is raised outside. The child Sonia is carrying is Ugukwes and can never be raised outside Ugukwes family. Mother, what are you insinuating? What are you really insinuating? You see that girl? That girl will not step her foot into this house. Really? Yes, really, mom. Give me Sonia's phone number. Else you will not step outside this house. Hi! I am so disappointed at you. How can you sleep with a man you barely know without protection? Hi! What if he had given you killer disease instead? Look, Sonia, you must go and get rid of this bastard. Yes, so Mom. you must. Mm. Hey! Mm. <laughs> Hello. Hello, my daughter. This is Jerry's mother. How are you? Please, my dear. Don't mind my son. I want you to know. I am solidly behind you, okay? Don't worry, if there's anything you need, let me know. I just want you to eat very well so my grandchild will grow big. Don't fail to tell me anything you need, I'll do it for you. You're carrying the child of the Gukwes.
will come and meet your parents and we will marry you. And who are you talking with? Jerry's mom. Who is Jerry? Jerry is the CEO of Okokwe Business Enterprise. The CEO of Ugokwe Enterprise. Is it the Ugokwe? I know. The multi family. CEO. Adanya. You mean the Gokwe? I know Abi. Gokwe Enterprise. The big minonia. It's okay. Oh, your wife away your tears. It's okay, my daughter. And did I say you are going to abort the baby? Hey! What was I thinking? For what? You are not going to abort any baby. Hmm? Oh my. Oh, it's okay, baby. Oh, that's good. That's good. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's all your fault, Jen. You shouldn't have made the mistake of letting him out of your sight when you know he was sitting on a keg of gunpowder. Excuse me? Are you in any way trying to blame me for Jerry's undoing? Because I don't get it. Should I have tied him with a rope? and stuffed him into my handbag and carried him everywhere it is that I go just to ensure he gets up to no good. You need to tell me. Some, somebody should say something that makes sense at this point because, because from, where I, from where I stand, this is a trying period for me and my household. This is a big temptation for my marriage. And I depend on God. I rely on God to heal my heart. Because my heart is hurting. The pain, the pain inside my heart. The pain, the pain, my heart is broken. Holy Spirit, this pain is tearing me. It's all right. It's all right, darling. It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. What do you go on here, my heart? It's okay. Save me from this temptation. Please, God. Please. I, 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 I don't know whatever it is. I, 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 I'm not party to this, you understand me? I, I'm, I'm not responsible for it. It's all a lie. It's a lie. She's lying. Everybody, it's all a lie. Not after the DNA. I saw the truth in her eyes. Congratulations, son. The earlier we start planning for our bride price, the better. 
there's going to be any bride price. It's you who will be paying that bride price, okay? So I should be congratulating you because you're going to marry her for yourself. I have a wife. I have one woman I'm married to and that woman is in this house. You understand me? I'm not marrying any other person but my own wife. It's impossible. I'm not, it's not possible. You know what I'm capable of doing? Damn. Let me even ask you this question. Why do you want to keep this baby so badly? I mean, have you paused for a second to ask yourself this fact? In case Mr. Jerry end up abandoning you, how do you intend to cater for this child? What would you do? Honestly, I don't know. I just know that having a baby for such a man as Mr. Jerry will bring light to my foundation. And I have always dreamed of stopping this life of runs. And I hope meeting Mr. Jerry will grant me that wish. Nice one. I tap from your face, my sister. I mean, I just hope it works. You did. You know, you've, you've been my best friend. In time like this, we get to know who is our dear friend. And you've, you've proven me right that you're my best friend. Come on. Stop it. My God will bless you. Amen. And you know you would do the same for me if I were in your shoes. Stop. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Sorry, I had to come in without being invited. You see, Sonia, I've missed you so much. I've missed everything that we shared together. Judith, please. Can you tell this guy to leave my life alone? <sighs> okay, Smith. Sonia is pregnant for a guy she wants to be with. So I would like advise you go and never come back. Okay? Pregnant? <sighs> Honey, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. Look. <laughs> Look, I wish I wish I could just, you know, you know, turn back the hands of time and and, you know, let all of this just, just wash away, erase off memories. Please forgive me. Please. I forgive you. I mean, you're a man. And so you behaved like a typical man. For what it's worth, you finally have what you always wanted. 
I mean, your potency has been proven. Hmm. That said, I, I, I think it's time to stop fighting this. I think you should listen to your mom because she's right this time around. Huh? Huh? I, I, are you? I, I, are you saying I, I, I bring in someone into this house, into your home? Is that what you're saying? She's not just anyone. She is carrying your child. And, and it makes sense that she stays close. for real or you're just being sarcastic as much as this hurts it's the right thing to do
da for the night. Oh, yo, yo. Today is a blessed day in this family. Say, God will give you joy and happiness in your marriage. He said, You will give birth to children that will not cause trouble for you. He said, You will give birth to twins. He said, And that is my joy. What's the meaning of this? Wait. Are you the one who served my food? Huh? Yes. When did I start? Where's my wife? Jane is busy in the kitchen. Jane is busy in the kitchen. The effrontery. Temerity. You call my wife by her name. Jane is busy in the kitchen. Now listen here. For emphasis, that woman is my wife. You understand? And this will be the very last time you will ever touch my food, like try to even serve it. Now get this rubbish out of here! Starting with that! Like, quick! Hey, come back here. Come, come back here. Now, this will be the very last time you dress like a retired prostitute. In this house, people dress decently. If you try this again, that will be the last night you will spend in this house. Now, get out. Like, bounce! Like, get the step in! You called me. Stop. Thank you. So, tell me, has he ever touched you? No, he hasn't. He hates me. It doesn't even touch the food I serve him, even when I'm not the one that prepared it. Ma, please look at me. Is there anything wrong with me? No. Am I not beautiful? Oh, come on. Don't say that. Don't say that. Oh, come on, don't say that. <laughs> Just that sometimes my son can be head headed. You just have to keep keeping on. He will come around someday. You're beautiful. <laughs> Nothing is wrong with you, okay? <laughs> Thank you so much, Ma. Information reaching me that you have not been living up to your conjugal responsibility to Sonia. Why? 
Mom, I don't think this is the right place or venue to discuss this, but to answer you correctly, that's because Sonia is not my wife. The only wife I have recognized by God is here with me, and her name is Jane. Let me break this to you. The only wife I recognize is Sonia. I don't want to receive any complaint of my treatment again. Else, I will force you to resign as the director of Ukukwe Diamond Enterprise. What? What? You can't do that, Mom. This whole situation is beyond me. I wonder why you kept it all away from me. You almost made the Holy Spirit a liar. Because it kept on impressing it in my spirit that you're troubled. I thought I could handle it alone. I'm sorry. What then is my job? In times like this, what you need is the word of God in your spirit man. And a man of God to give you the word. Of God. Pastor, I have lived right all my life. I have always hated evil. Why should this beset me? I understand. But let me tell you something. All things work for good together to them that believe God. And to them that are called according to the purpose of God. Including the bad thing in your love for the things of God. Which is unquestionable as it is undoubtable. Righteousness pays. And the Bible says in the book of Isaiah 54 verse 1. Let's read. Jerusalem, you have been like a childless woman. But now you can sing and shout for joy. Now you will have more children than a woman whose husband never left. Make the tent you live in larger. Lengthen its rope and strengthen the pegs. You will extend your boundaries on all sides. Your people will not will get back the land that order nations now occupy cities now deserted will be will be filled with people do not be afraid you will not be disgraced again say amen you will not be humiliated again you will forget your unfaithfulness as a young wife and your desperate loneliness as a widow your creator will be like a husband to you the Lord Almighty in his name, the Holy God of Israel will save you. He is the ruler of all the world. Praise the Lord. In situations like this, you don't need to be scared. You don't need to be disturbed. All you need is the word of God. And you, as I know, Sister Jane, God loves you more than what you think. Just always know who you are, a praiser, a praiser you are, to bring the anointing of the Lord God Almighty down. Let me pray for you. In Jesus' name, Lord, I bless you for your
bless me, Lord. Show me. Listen, there are ways to this, okay? Look, look, listen to me. I've already given you a book. I've already shown you the principles of everything. Make your own research. Get your referrals done properly. Listen, the mistake you make is forgetting that there are customers and they know what they want. In real estate, when a customer comes out of his car or her car and looks at the property, within eight seconds, the customer decides, yes, this is what I want. So you have to do this your same way. Listen, this, this, your same way, when I mean your same way is what I told you, your same way, that means you should assume the position of the customer. Yes, get out of yourself what you think you like and get into the shoes of the customer. That way you will understand what the person actually wants. Yes! And what? Hello? What do you think you're doing? Cleaning. You're cleaning what? What you have to do is clean up your mindset, your understanding. I don't care whatever lifestyle you have lived out there. Here is a different principle. There are certain things and ways we live here and we must abide to because I say so, which are the right things to do. You understand me? You can't be here doing what? What do you think you're doing? Trying to seduce me? You're wearing that short thing with your protruding stomach. You think that's sexy? Do you think that's going to seduce me? Something that is more protruding than what is behind? What are you talking about? What do you think you're doing? Huh? Listen, I've seen women. You understand? I've seen women and I have a very beautiful one in my house to note. You understand? So what I need you to do right now is get out of my sight. You are distracting me and the meeting I'm having right now. Oh. I'm sorry. Not needed. Keep moving. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. My brother, no, 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 no. It's just one set of fly that we flew into this house. Like I was saying. anymore. I am going back to my father's house. I can't. The necklace from the man whose child I carry is too much for me to bear. He doesn't care if I exist or this child exists, Mama. Sit down. Sit down. It's okay. I understand how you feel. That is why I am here for you. He doesn't have a choice than to love you. Whether he likes it or not, you are his wife. And you're carrying his unborn child. Don't worry. He will come around. Okay? Mama, all I'm asking is for him to love me, please. Let him just accept me for who I am. That's all I'm asking. Okay, stop crying. He's going to come around. <laughs> For the perfect gift of baby in this household at this time. Amen. Only you can do these things. Amen. Only you. Look at your daughter. She's so cute. <laughs> Hello, we thank baby. God. We thank God. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> 